You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. Then you'll get a new little notification each and every time on your tablet or phone when I post a new devotion, which is every day because we post a new devotion each and every single day. They're usually under five minutes long unless I get a little bit windy. Sometimes I can get to rambling and they can get a little longer, but from, for the most part, they're only a couple of minutes long. Oh my god. And you'll get to see, if you subscribe, you'll get to see baby Mia as she grows up in the videos because she joins me on the videos quite a bit, don't you, baby? Yeah, you do. Okay, the title of today's devotion is Rebuilding Relationships. You can hit the thumbs up, you can comment, you can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you got something you want to talk about. Rebuilding Relationships. All right. Rebuilding relationships. Scripture. Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. Hebrews 12, 14. Is there a relationship you need to rebuild? Too often people are filled with regret and guilt because they failed to reach out to someone with whom they were at odds. Then death intervenes and it's too late. Don't let this happen to you. If a broken relationship comes to mind, know that the place to begin is within yourself. Are you convinced that rebuilding this relationship is something God wants you to do? Then let the person know that you care and that you want to rebuild your relationship to be different. Don't use words alone. Back up your words with action. A small gift or an invitation to dinner can show that you mean what you say. Most of all, because actions speak louder than words, never forget that. One of the most important things ever right there. Most of all, seek God's forgiveness for anything you did to harm the relationship and trust him to help you both set aside the past. Don't argue about the past or who was at fault. That only reopens old wounds. Instead, focus on your hopes for the future. Change may take time, but with God's help, it can happen. This devotion comes out of Wisdom for Each Day, a devotion by Billy Graham. Lots of little uh, nuggets and pointers in there. Personally, I don't have issues with forgiving. I am too easy. I, I, I forgive almost too e easily if that's possible. Um, I'm very good at forgiving and moving and moving forward. However, there are things that I struggle with within that realm of forgiveness, such as uh, not arguing about the past or who's at fault or reopening the wound at any point in time. I'm pretty quick to to move forward with things, but there are times um, when I've been guilty of reopening the wound or bringing up the the past um, at times. But you know, I'm human. And sometimes people can frustrate you or or push you to the brink where you say hurtful things, and sometimes that means bringing up the past, uh, reopening wounds, and so that's something that I personally can work on. I may be quick to forgive and and move on, but. Um, not as good at that aspect. So just need to work on that myself and maybe you found something in this devotion that you need to work on and, and we can uh, pray about that and spend time with God, talking to God about what we can do better and move forward and uh, become better Christians and become closer to God, right baby? All right, thanks for listening. I'm gonna go spend some time in prayer about this devotion and then uh, get going on my day. Have a fantastic day yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow and God bless. Say bye-bye Mia. Say bye-bye. Can you wave bye-bye? Can you wave bye-bye? Can you say dada? Oh, you waving. Yeah. Let's say dada. Mia. Dada. Dada. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow.